all right so i'm getting this particular question um, from few people so i thought of making a quick video uh, and give you some sort of idea so the question main question is as a married phd student and um, let's say the wife got the phd position in ireland and she is asking whether uh, she, and she wants to bring uh, her husband in ireland also um, but the husband has no sort of uh any job contract or any phd position or anything at the moment in ireland now the question is that whether you can apply visa together yes ireland in ireland uh, as a phd student you can bring your uh, husband uh, on a dependent visa uh, that i have told many uh, many times in many of our, many of my videos and now um uh yes and also you can apply the visa together for the first time when you are actually uh, coming to ireland but probably the processing time will be a bit longer so for my case um, uh, i applied a visa and i got the visa um, in like 7 days but uh, i also came to know from few people that if you apply visa for you, your wife for my wife first of all at that time my wife did not have the passport uh, sort of valid for 6 months so it was not possible to apply for me together but anyway it is very uh, understandable that uh, when the visa officer will check the background of you and your husband uh, it will take some time rather than uh, if he has to check only for yourself and uh, so the question is that uh, i mean the answer to your question whether you can apply visa together that is yes i can tell you you can apply together and um, so but uh, so but but now the qu another question is to show the bank balances since your husband um, so i got the question from a lady so i am telling uh, about uh, this so since your husband does not have any job contract or any phd sort of scholarship in ireland she will be dependent uh, he will be dependent on your sort of scholarship that's that's very clean clear right now the thing is uh, this is i i saw somewhere but uh, i think there was a long document i forgot it's it's where but i saw that generally uh, they want to see whether uh, you guys have like 30000 or 32000 euro uh, for a year as a sort of uh, combined sort of uh, economic sort of uh, resources so for example my uh, phd scholarship was 18000 uh, euro for a year right so when i uh, applied the visa for my wife which was actually one and half years after i came uh, after i started my phd uh, after i started um, started my phd so for the first one and half years i was alone in uh, ireland and one and half years later i applied the visa for my uh, dependent visa for my wife there are many reason for that anyway uh so um that time i i was in dublin so generally mm, i was i was having scholarship of 18000 80000 18000 euro rest of the 12000 euro equivalent amount of indian money or mm, some whatever country you are that amount of money you have as a bank balance you have to show maybe through fixed deposit maybe through property and bank uh, savings and what not and surprisingly we showed uh, uh, all the sort of um, uh, more than that actually uh, economics uh, from her side and she also got visa within like 7 or 8 days uh, so the long term dependent visa so that's my uh, sort of uh, idea that if you can show that you have reasonable amount of uh, reasons to return uh, return uh, to your home country and you have lots of sort of um, uh, uh, i mean sufficient amount of uh, economic resources to stay in ireland uh, then i think visa they will definitely give you visa 
if all the other documents are okay and so on i mean as long as you you have a phd position in uh, uh for four years right so and another question is yes uh, the visa you are going to apply uh, for your husband uh, it's a long term d visa um, spouse visa joining spouse visa they call and it's not a tourist visa so uh, he can stay uh, here just like you uh, you just like you are allowed to stay for four years for your phd now as you ask that uh, if your husband were to apply for jobs would it would it have better chances if he was already in ireland absolutely true because if the job company or the wherever i mean wherever he is going to apply if they want a face to face interview then if he is already in ireland then it would have been uh, better but the main thing is uh, main thing is um, he will have no sort of work permit Uh, because uh, he will be given a stamp 2 a visa and he will be given stamp 2 so uh, whatever he wants to apply the bottom line is that that company or the organization has to give uh, yearly salary above 39000 euro earlier it was 32 and now it is 39000 euro i think now next year it will be top from 2025 it will be 44000 euro uh, uh, a year otherwise uh, they will not uh, able to give a sponsor letter and so on basically you will not get work work permit and so on so it's kind of bit difficult uh, at the moment but if he has a lot of experiences i think uh, it will not be difficult to get a job in ireland in robotics and automation engineering i do not have much uh, sort of idea about companies jobs and so on um, because i haven't applied before and i do not have uh, much contacts in industry so i cannot i am not a right person to comment on much uh, more uh, a serious level on this matter and if we were to apply together would it would he be granted a dependent visa with duration as long as mine or would it be tourist visa no 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 as long as you i mean you have to come you will, when you will get visa you will be coming to ireland and you will have to and uh, you will be in waterford right so you have to go to police station and and they will give you for one year uh, residence permit at the same time when your husband will come they will give you one year a uh, residence permit from the department of justice and uh, and so on i mean you you have to register with local police station it's called guard the station um so i think i have uh, answered all the questions so the main thing is that uh, if a married phd student wants to bring uh, his wife or husband whatever then they can apply the visa together but in my opinion it is uh, it is very 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 difficult at the moment in ireland unless otherwise you are very lucky to get a, uh, a decent accommodation for a couple for a single person you can share and what not not that much problem but that is why i'll suggest uh, i have suggested already many people that first you come and then try to find an accommodation uh, for a couple uh, who, then you invite um, uh, your husband or wife so that's it thank you